Hi my little friends. Do you know what is this? This is a house. We all need a house. We need a house to live in. We need a house to relax. We need a house to to feel comfortable. And also we need a house to keep our belongings safe. A house is a place where we keep our everything and live with our family. See how we keep our things safe in our house? A house also protects us. It protects us from heat, heat of the sun. It protects us from cold. It protects us from rain. We don't get wet in the house. And also it protects us from thieves. Our house also keeps us safe from wild animals. And not to forget from the strong winds and dust. Let's learn about different types of houses. There are many types of houses. First one is Kacha house. It is made with straw, mud and bamboo sticks. It is not a very strong house. This is a Pakka house. A pakka house is made with bricks, iron and steel and cement. It is a permanent house and it is a very strong house. This is a very big pakka house. It is called a bungalow. This is a multi-story building or an apartment. It has many flats. This is a thatched cottage. It is also a kacha house. This is a tent house. A houseboat or a house on water. This is a tree house. It is made on a tree. This is the house of the kings and queens known as a castle. This is an igloo. It is where Eskimos live. This is a hut. It is also a kacha house. This is a caravan. It is a moving house. People also live in a yacht when they are travelling in the sea. And do you know children? Early man did not know how to build a house. He lived in a cave. Now we will learn about the parts of a house. A house has a roof on the top door from where we enter in the house. It has walls which make up the rooms of the house and also windows from which we can let the air in and also the floor. Most of the houses have a flat roof but in mountains or hilly areas the houses have a sloping roof so that the snow can easily slide down. Now we will learn about the rooms in our house. Drawing room is where we sit and talk with our guests. Bedroom is where we rest and sleep. Dining room is where we sit together and eat our meals. Bathroom is where we take a bath. Study room is where we do our work and study. Closet is where we keep our clothes, shoes and other belongings. Kitchen is where we cook our food and wash our dishes. A good house may be big or small but it has doors for people to enter and has windows to let sunlight and fresh air in. Now let's see how to keep our house clean and decorated. 
We should clean all the rooms in our house with mops, vacuum cleaner and other cleaning equipments. We should always throw the garbage and litter in a dustbin. We should not throw dirt here and there in our house so that our house is clean. We should also keep the things at their proper places. We should also pick up the things in the house and do cleaning. We should wash the dishes and keep the kitchen clean. We should always water the plants. For house decoration, we can use a flower vase or beautiful furniture and also paintings, photo frames and plants. On festive occasions, we can also put lights and toran to decorate our house. See how on Christmas lights and torans are used and also the Christmas tree and how this house is looking so beautiful with all those flashing lights. We should also regularly get our house painted. Let's revise. Kacha house, pakka house, igloo, thatched cottage, high rise apartment, caravan, hut, tree house, bungalow, also an early man's cave and the king's palace. Ok my dear friends, it's time to say bye bye. Hope you had a wonderful time watching this video and also got to learn about the different type of houses. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and also leave your wonderful comments below. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.